Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. I'm Kirsten and today I have made a 24 pocket folio for artist trading cards or altered playing cards. Although you could put other ephemera in it, it's purely um, just the size fits in with these type of cards. For example, just showing you, you can fit a fair few in each of the pockets. Just, I'm going to do a separate video on making the altered playing cards as well. So this is this side and this is this side. So if you flip it over, the pockets will stay upright. However, if you go side to side, the pockets point down the way. However, they're very secure and stuff will stay in. So to make this, you need three sheets of paper. And what you need to do is, the be it's better to use a book page that has is still connected in the middle. So when you take it out the signature, take it out as a full double spread. This paper is approximately, is, it is bigger than an A4. So if you were to use A4 paper, you would get smaller pockets. If you used A3, you would get bigger pockets. So we want to fold this into four rows. And we also want to fold it into four columns as well. Okay. So we've basically got 16 um, rectangles. So this bottom flap of sheet number one will fold up the way. The top flap of sheet number one, we will put over the bottom flap of sheet number two. We will fold sheet number two, oops, like so. And the top flap of sheet number two will go over the bottom flap of sheet number one. And this will fold like so. And then we will fold this flap behind. There we go. And then on the other side, we have the same. So I am going to use masking tape for this. And we're basically just going to stick it together. Now I would try and get the masking tape in the middle as much as possible. Also, the you don't need to be overly accurate. However, the more of these that you make to put together, the more accurate you want to be. Because the two I made earlier on, they're ever so slightly different heights because I haven't been as accurate as I could have been when I was creating my rows. So each column is going to get some masking tape and I'm just folding it right over in a loop. Trying to keep them in the correct places. It is easier once you put down the middle one though because that does all the holding for you. And then one down this one. Now you can use what you want. You could sew this if you were a sewer. Um, but I actually find that my, my um, folios, the two folios I've made already, are actually very sturdy. Um, I think when I've been putting the paint on it, it's... Um, It's obviously helped because that the paint, you know, has, when it dries in, it'll help adhere the masking tape further to the paper. 
and the paper coming from a coffee table book is of a good quality to begin with and then I suppose the flaps also add to it because they now you want this to be able to fold both ways yeah they, they add to it as well because the flaps are like they're like double sheeted in areas The 24 page pocket, the 24 page pocket, your 24 pocket pages. So I'm going to go back to the one that I have already been working with. Got enough jelly plate videos on, you don't want to watch me doing loads of them, do you? So I'll decorate this um, later on myself. So I will. I am going to get out the scrapbook paper. So what I want to do is I want to create like a folio. It's lovely. And it's very similar to this one. So my bookmark and my ATC card holders can be similar. What I'm going to do, I, I'm not going to put it into exact thirds. But I do want one side to be slightly larger than the other. There we go. So this is taller and wider, but as this is used, it will become Like so. Now eyelets would be very useful here because it will keep the paper very strong. However, I don't have eyelets and I don't do eyelets as yet. So there we have it. A lovely folio with 24 pockets to hold ATCs or altered playing cards or other similar sized ephemera. Um, and it's also of a similar style. The scrapbook paper is the same, obviously, different colour. Um, but it, it's almost like a companion to my bookmark holder that I made. So I haven't put eyelets on it because I don't do eyelets. However, this is some seam binding that I had. I have just used an awl, put, in, put the hole through. I have put on these little flowers with a brad paper fastener. And I have actually put it through the seam binding just as an extra security. If I had eyelets, it, you know, I, I really think that would be a really lovely finish to this. I have not... Um, secured this down at all because this will grow and as it grows you know the more you put in it you're going to need more of this um, so you might even need a new cover and then we have obviously with one lonely one lonely sticker on it <laughs> we have our twin we have our 12 pockets on this side and we have our 12 pockets on this side. Um, it is really quite sturdy. So, yes, I'm excited for this. I am going to um, be putting my bits and pieces in it. You know, I might even put one, one in each pocket just now, just to fill it up, give it purpose. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon and take care.